My name is Genghis Goins. Uh, some of you might know me as the Christian hip hop artist, I Chris. When I grew up, I guess, um, I kind of had the deck stacked against me a little bit. My mother and father were both drug addicts. Uh, my mother used drugs while she was pregnant with me. And um, so I guess, I guess you could say uh, it, it was not probably a surprise that I would probably have addiction problems later on in life uh, because I kind of came into the world addicted. Uh, I got molested twice when I was a young man, and that kind of really messed me up to as far as what genuine affection was and what um, what genuine trust of of uh, you know uh, the male relationship was. I blame my father always in a way for not being there for me, and uh, I blame my mother for never being able to just show me real love and compassion. Um, now, I knew at that point I wanted to try to do something with my life, but I didn't know what. So when I got out of high school, um, I went and joined uh, the Army. I was uh, Army Airborne and uh, was a chaplain's assistant. And uh, so I wanted to serve the Lord. I had this, it's, it's kind of weird. It was, it's, it, it's this, there's this deep desire uh, to serve the Lord, but there's this deep pulling inside of myself to do my own thing because I was very hurt inside and I never placed that anger anywhere and I never gave it to the Lord because again I had been baptized twice and no one had ever talked to me about salvation. I remember being out on the firing range and shooting at targets and kind of little by little it got to be to a point where I wasn't seeing targets anymore. It was the lady who cut me off in traffic. It was the guy who made too much noise when I was uh, you know, trying to concentrate. So I went and seen a psychologist. Uh, and they told me that uh, I was mentally ill and that I had probably been carrying mental illness for quite some time um, and that, uh, that I was unfit to serve because uh, I was mentally ill. And that just messed me up. That just messed me up because my, that was my plan. My plan was to uh, serve my country and, uh, and try to overcome the circumstances in my life. You know, you, you, when you're carrying things from me, you know, like, you know, I remember, you know, being a small child and having my mother's husband take me to the strip club where she worked at and, and watching my mother strip. And, um, and I just, I never got over that. I just never got over those things. When I got out of the army, you know, drank a lot. Uh, you know, I say a, a lot, you know, I just, I, I was the type of guy, I, I would drink and 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 drink, and drink you know, until I was mad enough to fight and get kicked out of a place. And, and bar in mind this whole time that I do not realize that uh, I had been diagnosed with a mental illness and I never did anything about it. I never um, sought help or, or, or anything like that. I just kind of, I self-medicated. I became really good at self-medicating. When I got addicted to coke, uh, I didn't think I was addicted to coke. It was a, and I'm not one of, oh, you know, kids don't do drugs because they feel terrible. No, you do drugs for two reasons. A, they feel good um, at that moment. Or B, you are hurting so bad or you're going through so much pain that you want to bury it and you want to suffocate it. Um, but it's never that rush that you get for that hour or that half hour. Um, the one thing I can say out of all the years I did coke, it never was as good as that first time. You're always chasing it, and that's how the devil is. You know, he'll give you something that seems good, and, uh, and then you're always chasing after, after it. It's a, you know, you always want some other type of high, because it's never enough. When you're an addict, you don't think about other people's feelings and what needs to be done. All you think about is getting high. Well, I got to a point where, um, that mental illness we were talking about. Uh, you can't, it's not good to be mentally ill and do a whole bunch of drugs uh, because you just, you, know, you go, you start developing what's called mania or manic um, behavior, hearing voices, um, and, you know, and, that's, and stuff like that. I know there's a devil, um, you know, it's just, it's not a natural thing for people to hear voices that tell them to kill themselves or kill other people. Nightmares, um, the shakes, the sweats. I was a cutter for very many years and it's such a deception from the devil because all that cutting does is it makes it easier to cut yourself and take your own life in the long run because that's what the devil wants. Uh, so I cut myself, I cut myself from uh, 
the wrist here to the elbow here you can kind of more so predominantly see it on this one because this was my my first cut and uh, by the time I got to this arm you can clearly still see the line up here because you I um, I was losing so much blood from over here that it was harder to cut myself here so I went and um, hijacked one of my father-in-law's shotguns pointed the shotgun at my wife but my wife got the shotgun away from me. I um, wound up in the hospital. And, you know, and how good is God? Because I, I, when I woke up in Pine Rest, um, you know, I got to go through the DTs and all that good stuff. I hadn't been sober, so you see, for so long. It would, I didn't, you know what I mean? I wasn't thinking, ever. So I got out of Pine Rest, and uh, I came back to, uh, to church, and... Um, I remember Pastor John Preminsky saying to me um, that, that the church was going to be there for me. And um, it, that gave me hope. But I started to um, kind of look inward at my anger and, and started to realize that um, nobody's been holding a gun to your head. Yeah, you know, okay, you know, yeah, you had the mental illness, but you know. Nobody made you uh, not go get help. You did that, you know, or nobody made you, um, you know, you get into that thing of blaming other people for your problems, you know, look in the mirror and be honest with yourself uh, because uh, I wasted a lot of years of my life uh, not being honest with myself. And uh, so, um, yeah, so I started going to church, started enjoying church again, uh, remembered that God maybe had a plan for my life and um, knew that I knew that I knew I, I, I couldn't live like I was living anymore. Uh, how awesome is it that God can take something so filthy and evil and uh, watch kids' lives get transformed through that and watch His Word be spread for that. Um, that's, that's the reality of Christ in my life. No perfect person, no perfect person. Um, trying hard every day. I hope that if you need answers in your life, by all means, uh, don't get caught up in religion. Get caught up in Christ, because believe me, whatever problem you have, I know, because I've had every problem there is, Christ is the answer, and I'm not trying to sell you anything. Christ is the answer. I know you might have had a church hurt or something might have went wrong, but you know what? It wasn't. Don't blame God for what man has done. Christ is still the answer because it is the only thing in my life that has ever consistently worked. Uh, thank you. is for victory, cause he didn't leave me where he found me, I've opened my eyes to true prosperity, now I see for the first time, open heart, open mind, and line by line, he's rewriting my story, taking me from glory to glory, from up out of the gutter, yeah I used to be a gutter, but now he healed me, and we rolling wealthy, like we usher, but not the early witches, or hitting switches, this is for eternal security, which is the reason that I do this, so even if he has me digging ditches, or washing dishes, me and my missus, won't miss his presence, and it chase the praise his holy name, the great I am, must be proclaimed, I am no longer a slave to mental illness, Holy Spirit makes me the sickest, I twist, cause my style is the illest, check out me, it's for victory, for all eternity, Christ's blood has set me free, it's still a mystery, how you remember me, and I'll forever be all yours, it was meant to be, come on.